Welcome back to part two of module nine, lesson three, where we're working with areas of composite figures. And now we're gonna take and work on another concept, the area of the shaded region. We have a video to walk us through this. Let's take a look at it. To find the area of a shaded region, first find the area of the entire figure. In this example, the entire figure is a rectangle. Multiply the length, eight meters, by the width, 6 meters to find the area. The area of the entire figure is 48 square meters. Next, find the area of the unshaded region. The unshaded region is a circle with a radius of 4 divided by 2, or 2 meters. Multiply pi by the square of the radius to find the area. The area of the circle is approximately 12.6 square meters. Finally, find the area of the shaded region by subtracting the area of the unshaded region from the area of the entire figure. The area of the shaded region is approximately 35.4 square meters. All right, that's pretty straightforward. Enjoyed some peaches while we were watching that. Let's see what we can do on these type of problems ourselves. For example two, we're going to be looking at the area of a shaded region, and it's coming up. Here we go. We have a shaded circle with an unshaded square inside of it. So to work this, the first thing we need to do is find the area of the circle. The next thing we need to do is find the area of the square, and then from there, we're going to subtract the area of the square from the area of the circle. You can see they did the formula for area of the circle, pi times radius squared, plugged in what they knew, and got the area of the circle, which is going to be 113 and 4 hundredths of a meter. And so you would type that in right there, 113.04. Check it. That part checks. Next, we're going to find the area of the square, which was areas was side times side or side squared. 8.5 squared gave them an area of the square of 72.25 meter squared and now all that's left to do is subtract those two numbers so when we uh, subtract them we're going to get let me take and actually do that off to the side where i can work it 113.04 so i have 113.04 minus what am i subtracting 75.25 75.25 we're going to do some borrowing here. Let's knock that one down to a 2, which would make that a 10, but that 10 can become a 9, making that a 14. 14 minus 5 is 9. 9 minus 2 is 7. Your decimal comes down. Oop, we got to borrow some more. A 0 and a 12. 12 minus 5, that's going to end up giving me 7. And now I need to borrow one more time. 10 minus 7, that's going to give me 3. So the area of the shaded region should be 37 and 79 hundredths, 37.79, and check, oh, hold on, and then therefore we're going to put it our 37.79 here as well, and hmm, somewhere I did a mathematical boo-boo. Let's check my work by taking 113.04, no, no, missed that, 0 .04, minus, 72.25 and whoops it was 40.79 not sure how i got that far off 40.79 it is totally my bad now technically this is supposed to be your problem this is a pretty ugly problem so i'm going to work it for you and show you how to do it i'm going to start off by taking a screen grab of the drawing and then we're going to start working through the pieces we have so we're going to take and copy that, and I'm going to jump over to my scratch paper. I'm going to paste that in, and we're going to take and resize that some. All right, the good place to start. Now I'm going to do the easy part first, which is going to be the area of the rectangle. A rectangle is going to be length times width, so the area of the rectangle is going to be a length of 12 and 1 third inches, times a width of five and two thirds inches. Therefore, the area is gonna equal two. We're gonna keep, um, do the Texas thing. Three times 12 is 36, plus one is 37 over three, times 
5 times 3 is 15 plus 2 is 17 over 3 and now we're going to multiply that out which is going to give us 37 times 17 is going to be 629 over 9 and I'm just going to leave it there as an improper fraction and hold on to it for a little bit. Now I have to do the next part where I'm going to find the area of the triangles because I have to subtract all four of those triangles from this figure and I want to point some stuff out to you. Let me take and I'll do that mark and I want to show you if I was to take that triangle that they have given us the size of and actually flip that whole thing over you can see that we have got a base of one and one third inch and a height of one and one third inch because your base and your height those meet at right angles and because I have that base and height here I have what I need in order to solve the problem now I'm going to take and flip it back stick it back in this hole and it's time to work the triangle problem the formula for the area of a triangle there's several of them but the one I'm going to use is the fraction formula because we have fractions in here which is one half times base times height so I have area is equal to one half times the base was one and one third and the height was one and one third area is equal to now one half we're going to do the Texas thing again three times one is three plus one is four over three times four over three again I'm going to simplify before I multiply two goes into two once two goes into four two times whoops didn't mean to make that mark and now we're going to multiply it out area is equal to one times two is two two times four is eight one times three is three three times three is nine so the area is going to be eight ninths but that is only one of those triangles and I have four of them so the next thing I'm going to do is multiply that times four so I have four triangles at eight ninths of an inch for each one make an improper fraction multiply that out and now I'm looking at 32 over 9 is going to be the area of the entire triangle collection that we're subtracting let's go ahead and circle that too now it's time to finish our problem we're going to take our rectangle which was 629 over 9 we're going to subtract 32 over 9 they were kind enough to give us a um, common denominator for this one and that's going to end up leaving me with 599 I believe over 9 let me just check that real quick so we don't make a silly mistake so 629 minus 32 Oh, 597, my bad. So we're going to take a erase that 9 and make it a 7. And now we're going to take and do 59, 597 divided by 9. 9 goes into that 6 times, which is 54. These 5 left over, bring down the 7. It's going to be 6 again, which is 54 again. With 3 left over, 66 and 3 ninths. So we get... 66 and 3 ninths also known as 66 and 1 third which would be our final answer for that rather complicated problem jump back over here type it in as a mixed number 66 fraction 1 over 3 and accept and check we get a happy sound that is going to be it for this lesson get started on your homework bring any questions you have to class tomorrow